Hello everyone and thank you much for watching, this is me Mr. P and let's carry on setting up Proxmox server on the very old laptop. In the previous episode we set up ourselves a virtual machine called Cloud VM, which is basically our personal cloud and we created two users, one was for me, Mr. P and another one was for my friend Jeff. So let's say Jeff wants to log in, he just goes to the local IP address followed by port 8080 and enters the username and a password and he can log in and can, he can see his stuff, which is great. But the problem is every time when Jeff wants to access this cloud, he needs to be at your house. He needs to basically use your home network to connect to this because if he's going to go somewhere outside your home network and going to try to connect to your local IP address, well, he's not going to have any luck because A, there is no port forwarding sorted and nothing basically tells outside net, outside internet, outside world that this virtual machine even exists. So how are we going to go around it? There is a multiple ways to get this done. You can just open the port 8080 pointed to this IP address. So anybody who's entering your public IP address followed by 8080 will be able to go to this virtual machine. But this is not secure and I don't recommend to do that. Another thing is that we're going to have multiple services happening and maybe another virtual machine we're going to create in the next episode or so will have port 8080. So port opening, port forwarding is not the ideal Thing. Another way you can to go around this is using Nginx Proxy Manager, which you need to open just two ports. I think it's 80 and 443. And I actually used Nginx Proxy Manager for quite a while until that day when I discovered Cloudflare tunnels. And this is what I'm going to show you in this video, how to set up Cloudflare tunnels. It's super easy to set up, it's super easy to use, and it's secure and is secured by Cloudflare. First of all, you need to create yourself a Cloudflare account. As you can see, I'm, I'm on a Cloudflare main page. So once I logged in, or once you will login you will see no domain showing up here I actually purchased two domains for these kind of videos one is called DockerPy this actually was bought just before I start recording this series because my plan was to use the Raspberry Pi the Raspberry Pi as a server but then I as I mentioned in episode one I moved to use a la laptop instead the next one is called Mr. P Cloud which I purchased again just thinking maybe just a bit of variety to have two for these kind of uh, videos. So we're going to use mrpcloud.uk in this series. So this is the domain I'm going to use. If you don't have a domain, you can go on the left hand side once you logged into our Cloudflare, click on a domain registration and then click register domain and then just search for domain that uh, basically is your cup of tea, which one you fancy. And if a price is right, you can purchase straight inside the Cloudflare and Cloudflare will do the rest. And obviously you can go to Google and buy a domain, want to reg, want to free reg, I think is another supplier. Anyway, there's basically you just need to go and get yourself a domain. I I think I'm paying four dollars fifty cents per each of these, so it's about um, nine dollars a year to have these both domains going. So I have a domain ready. Right, say you have a domain ready. So let's go and start setting up Cloudflare tunnels. Just before we do that, we need to set up where the Cloudflare tunnel or Cloudflare service will run. From my experience and from what I'm right now running as a, my main Proxmox server, I have Cloudflare running inside the Alexi container and that's what we're going to use. I have Ubuntu template, which we created, I think, as episode two or three. So I'm going to use that. Just going to right click, choose clone, put give a name, Cloudflare tunnel. Here we go. Click on that. Actually, instead of Cloudflare tunnel, I'm going to put cloud Flare YT. So cloud for YouTube, full clone, ID number 100, because I want that to be at the top, always straight away visible if something is going wrong. I'll notice that icon is on, off, or etc. Click clone. And right now the container is getting cloned from this template. Once the container is cloned, I'm just going to log in into this container via SSH and do a usual housekeeping things like apt update and apt upgrade just to make sure that this container is up to date with all the fixes, patches, and etc. I have a container ready. As you can see, there was a bunch of stuff he had to update and upgrade. But anyway, my Cloudflare YT container, let's see containers up to date. So right now we can go and start setting up ourselves a Cloudflare tunnel. I'll go back to a Cloudflare page. And then when, I'm when you logged in onto this page, you scroll down a bit on the left hand side, you should see a zero trust option. If you click on that, it's going to load a new page for you where you can start setting up Cloudflare tunnel. To use Cloudflare tunnel is absolutely free. You can set this up if you already know the steps in less than five minutes. Once the Cloudflare tunnel loads, I'm going to click on access and choose tunnels. This page shows up, will show up and you will see nothing here. As you can see, there is two tunnels already created that I'm using for other things. Yours is going to be empty. That's all you need to do is to click tunnel, create a tunnel on the top right and I give a name. I'm going to call it this Dexmox and I'm going to say save the tunnel. So right now I'm just creating a tunnel for my 
domains and stuff. Right now I can choose an operating system. I can choose between Windows, Mac, Debian, Red Hat, and Docker. And I can choose between 64 and 32 bit, or I can run on ARM processors, 64 and 32 bit. And that runs like magic on the Raspberry Pi. If you have a Raspberry Pi, let's say Docker server or something like that. I'm gonna leave as a Debian and I'm gonna leave as a 64 bit. Scroll down a bit and you have two options. If you don't have a Cloud Flirt installed, use this script. If you already have, use this script to link your new tunnel to your already existing Cloud Flirt installation. I'm gonna copy this because I don't have that. Go back inside the Termux, left click and hold and choose paste and then press enter. Okay, it snags that there is no curl install. So that's no problem. We can do quickly apt install curl stash y curl installed. And instead of going and pasting this command again, I just click up and up again, arrow key up, go back to a previous command, and I'm just gonna right click on that. And while this installing, if we go to this page, at the bottom, as you can see, connectors is just refreshing right now, it's nothing happening. Once installation is completed, the Cloudflare servers, servers will detect that you have a new Cloudflare tunnel installed and it will populate this. As you can see, it says connector ID, status, data center, looks like inside of Manchester probably, my public IP address and the version which is 20, is uh, 1st of November 2022. Tunnel is installed and Cloudflare can see that tunnel. Right now we can start setting up our first hosting. So we have this one, we have this um, Cloudflare thing, uh, this um, cloud virtual machine going. Let's call this uh, data. Let's call data. Actually, no, let's delete that. Let's call vault. Inside the domain list, you pick your domain. I can choose between Docker Pi or my Mr. P, others I will blur out. So I'm going to say vault.mrpcloud.uk. Path, we don't need anything in here. Under type, we're going to choose HTTP. And now I need to double check. It's a 42. IP address 42. So just enter 192.168.178.42 semicolon 8080. So colon 8080. That's how you do. So IP address dot, uh, colon 8080. That is it. And click save the tunnel. And right now, in about a couple of seconds or so, this page should refresh. And right now, at the bottom, as you can see, it says Dexmox inactive. Done all the connections. Boom, working. It says active. That's it. Every time right now, if somebody wants to access this, or let's say Jeff wants to access this cloud VM from outside the home network, he just puts vault dot Mr. P cloud UK. Here we go. I'm using the subdomain vault to my main domain. And Jeff says, okay, I want to connect and click. Yep. And one please, thing, please note there is a padlock here, which means that the Cloudflare does HTTPS for us and assigns all the certificates. So connection is secure. Great. Everything works fine. But the problem is right now, everybody can access this as long as they know your domain or subdomain, everybody can access this, which is not great. You need to restrict only to yourself and Jeff and obviously add other people as you go. How to do that? Let's go back to uh, Cloud Zero Trust. And when we clicked on tunnels, there is one option above that, which is called applications. Click on applications. And inside here, you will see nothing in here because yours is going to be empty. Mine's, as you can see, there is quite a few things here. Add an application on the top right. Choose self-hosted. Application name, I'm going to say vault dash cloud VM just to stand out. This can be anything, but this is just for your reference to know what, what is happening. Session duration. So how long, uh, once a connection is approved, how long the token can last. So let's say, for example, I'm going to say for 30 minutes, this can function. Otherwise, it's just going to disconnect. And I will show you what that means in a second. Why about this timeout? Application domain vault. This is the one we created. Domain I chose was mrpcloud.uk. We chose nothing in a path. Everything else leave by default. Click next. On the next page, we need to choose policy name. So first, I'm going to choose policy name email. I'm going to say email allow. This is not going to show up. This is something I set up for myself. So you just give a policy name, which is going to be email. Action allow. And that means that allow access to this vault.mrp.uk as long as email matches what inside here. So speak to Mr. P at gmail.com. So speak to Mr. P at gmail.com. I will get access because my email address in here, you can put Jeff at something, 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 and your friend Jeff email address. I'm just going to put mine for now. That's it. So email access, great. Click next. Everything on this page is default. Just click add application. So right now it's adding application and it shows up, will show up in this list. Mine shows up at the top. And as you can see, vault, uh, vault.mrpeak.uk and it's all function. And right now, if I go to the, the address of vault.mrpeakcloud.uk, I will get the login page. 
So right now I can say, okay, so info at reddit.com, send me a code. And it will tell you that the code has been sent, but the code will never, ever, ever arrive as, because the email address is not inside the policy that we created. But if I'm going to go back on here, I'm going to say, speak to Mr. P at gmail.com, send this. On a separate screen, I'll quickly do a um, check on my other email address to see what IP address or what um, code I received. Give me a second. So the code I received is 076964 and click sign in. And once I sign in, this is when that time and that we set up of 30 minutes will start counting down because right now it's allowed to have access for 30 minutes. This is great, no problem at all. But the, pro the thing is right now, every time that I want to log into the system from my home network, I will be basically nagged to enter the PIN number from my, my email address because it knows that only allow people from the email list. How to get that around if I go to applications, let's click on the vault, click edit. I will do add the policy and besides the email, I'm going to put this IP address. Again, name can be anything you want here. I'll choose bypass and I scroll down and I'm going to pick from this list. I'm going to say I can choose IP range, country, everyone, not everyone, etc, etc. I'm going to say IP range and everybody with IP address of this, this one, which is my home public IP address. Here we go. I go up, I click add the policy. And right now what's going to happen every time someone hits that subdomain, it will check. It, do I need to check? This Cloudflare will ask you to enter email address if IP address is not matched. If IP address is matched, it's called bypass. It means this is true. Other rules don't care as long as the IP address is true. So right now I can go, let's say, into uh, DuckDuckGo, vault.mrpcloud.uk and I will get access because I am inside my house and I do have my public, my public IP address is matching what the Cloudflare has. And that's it, Cloudflare tunnels. No need of port forwarding, no need of configurations, no messing around about SSL certificates, nothing. You just spend five minutes installing Cloudflare tunnel, setting up your first domain, and right now cloud vm is being accessed from anywhere in the world by vault.mrpcloud.uk by anyone who's got access or who's got account for this and obviously matching the rules of security security rules there you go thank you much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one goodbye